Golden Saints, it's a little, it's very simple. They want to do three things. They want to pressure, pressure, and bring more pressure. And if they give up a big play for a touchdown, they're still going to come with pressure all day long. Listen, both of these offenses are very good. But let's not ever forget, defenses win championships. All right, thanks, Goose. And Sean Payton Saints won the Super Bowl two seasons ago. A career postseason record of five and two. And there's Jim Harbaugh getting set to coach in his first postseason game. And I think it's one of those classic matchups. Obviously, during the course of the game, it is strength versus strength. The Greens set NFL records for completions, completion percentage, and yards in the season, and he threw for 466 in the wild card game last week against Detroit. He has had an absolutely unbelievable season, one of the best seasons by a quarterback in the history of this game. What about his defense to put the ball in Breeze's hands with the fair and coin toss? Here we go. Breeze on first down, swings it out to Sproles, and Darren Sproles gains five. Out to the 25-yard line. We see the highlights. We know how explosive this group is. Jimmy Graham is a matchup problem. They create matchup problems all over the field. But in my opinion, what makes them unique, what makes this offense so dangerous, is these guys right here. They are the ones who pass protect. They allow Drew Brees to step up in the pocket. Two of the best guards in the NFL. Saints send in an extra blocker in Pat McQuiston. Brees on second and five. Complete for a first down. It's... Michael Higgins, the backup tight end who caught only one pass during the regular season, games 10 as we check out the 49ers' fourth-ranked defensive unit. And Sean Payton called this the best defensive front they will have faced all season long. That front seven has to be able to control the run because they need everybody they can in the back end in this passing game. It's going to be fun to see how they match up with Jimmy Graham. Brees on second and seven. The catch is made by Sproles. And Sproles picks up a first down as he crosses midfield. A gain of 12. Saints must get to the 39-yard line. As this pass is bobbled, dropped, but there is a flag. Jimmy Graham. That's one of those plays where it's downfield. Let's see how he lands. Defense. system put in place towards the end of the regular season so with Graham on the sidelines Breeze hands it off to Pierre Thomas and Thomas gains six empty backfield third down and four Breeze throws to his right catch is made by Colston and he's cut down by Deshaun Goldson it will depend on the spot defensive package with Graham back in the locker room, second and nine, Breeze sets up the screen, and then Sproles slips down at the seven-yard line. Third down and six. Breeze moving to his right, he throws, and the tackle is made by Dante Whitner, shy of a first down. The ball is loose at the bottom of the pile. Pierre Thomas unable to pick up the first down on the hit by Whitner. <laughs> Officials trying to get to the bottom of the pile. Forward progress was ruled on the field, so there will be no attempt at a fumble. their own two-yard line. Smith on first down, complete. Now to the 11-yard line, Michael Cramtree for a gain of nine. The same thing, you know, he did give a forward progress ruling, but they overruled him on the field, which was the right decision. And remember, a signal does not kill the play. So really a good job of creating what that was, which was a fumble. Come away with nothing. On the 16-yard line, the toss to Gore, and Gore picks up a first down. Out to the 41-yard line, Frank Gore, like Alex Smith, playing in his first career postseason game, gains 15. Alex Smith has done a great job at quarterback this season.
Frank Gore, good to see. I'm so happy for those guys to be in the playoffs. We've met with them throughout their career. Great to see them with smiles on their faces all season long. Again, here's another great offensive line group for the San Francisco 49ers. And here's multiple tight end running formations by the Niners. Smith on second and ten. And it's complete out across the 40 to the 42 for a first down. Ted King Jr. gains 11. Defensive unit, but as Tony mentioned earlier, they bring a lot of pressure. They do, and it, it's been an adjustment for defensive coordinator Greg Williams because when you play with an offense like New Orleans, it's not about yards. This group is about bringing pressure. They're very good on third down. The elements that are missing, the sacks, the interceptions, the other things that you would think would come hand-in-hand hand with a very high-volume pressure-style defense that has your back like the Saints do. Here comes the pressure. Smith on second down, and the catch is made by the tight end Vernon Davis, tackled after a gain of five by the free safety Malcolm Jenkins. Three wide receiver set. Smith out of the shotgun. Smith looking and down he goes. The ball comes loose. And Gore falls on it back at the 33-yard line after the hit by Roman Harper. And now some extracurricular activity. Now, let me tell you what, these guys, they're not back in that for a minute. We've seen San Francisco a couple times this year. And Saints must get to the 29 for a first down. Breeze under pressure. Down he goes back at the 10-yard line. The rookie out of Missouri, Olden Smith, with 14 sacks during the regular season. Takes down Breeze for a loss of 11. He's one of those guys that you have to have an eye on where he's coming from. On the left side here, coming in, continues to work against Jermon Bushrod. They get Drew Breeze out of the pocket. And if you can continue to get pressure with your four down and allow the offense's effort. Thomas Morstead punting from the goal line. Terrific kick taken at the 40 by Ted Ginn Jr. And Ginn returns it 15 yards out to the 45. A 60-yard punt by Morstead. What a rookie season for Alden Smith. Bations on that opening drive. Kendall Hunter, rookie out of Oklahoma State in the backfield. He takes the handoff from Smith and cuts across midfield into Saints territory for a gain of five. Out pick. Four back in the game. Second down and five. Smith fires downfield on second down and Vernon Davis will take it all the way for a Niners touchdown. 49 yards. Vernon Davis is going to be in front of Justin Peel, 81, a stacked release. He creates separation right away. And then Malcolm Jenkins, as he comes up to make a play, actually blocks Roman Harper. They're both down. And Vernon Davis just strides into the end zone. Season, first postseason game for both Davis and Alex Smith. 7-0 with the slam dunk, San Francisco. Their own 14-yard line. Here comes Carlos Rogers. Green's able to get the pass away. It's Graham. And Graham is hauled down at the 18-yard line by the combination of Whitner and Bowman. Gain of four. To do as a defense, when you have an opportunity to make a play, you have to against the Saints. Second down and six. Complete to Darren Sproles for a Saints first down out at the 25-yard line. Sproles picks up seven. New set of downs for the Saints from the 25 with an empty backfield. Green steps up, and he fires, and is picked off. The second the Rollins turn over to Sean Goldson. Goldson inside the 10, still on his feet, and finally tackled at the three-yard line by Jari Evans. Into areas where it looked covered from the pocket. He moves into the center of the field. He reads that vertical route, steps right in front of it. So he's on the far right side of the field. He fools Drew Brees, gets him to throw that vertical ball down the seam, and makes the interception. Six picks during the regular season for Goldson, who is heading to the Pro Bowl. He returned it. Third and goal from the four. Smith, the slap, touchdown. Michael Crabtree. 21 on the pass protection 
crosses the formation, picks up the blitz. Guys, that's Will Smith. That's one of the best pass rushers on the New Orleans Saints. He's not crossing formation to pick up a secondary blitzer. He's taking on a defensive end. Playing at home, not playing in New Orleans. It means 10 more points for them, or for us, and 10 fewer points for them. Roby scoops it up. And then it's tackled at the 14 yard line. The ball came out there at the end of the run, guys. He lost the ball at the end of the run before he was down. And you got Colin Jones from the Niners saying first down Niners. Saints have already turned the ball over twice. As players continue to push and shove with one another, officials trying to get to the bottom of the pile. After Courtney Roby coughed it up. And it will be 49ers football once again. The third New Orleans turnover. He loses the ball right there, but then he scoops it back up. Courtney Roby goes, he runs. Before he gets down, he gets stripped, and the ball is out. Adil Williams with the strip. You know what, Tony? He's so stacked up by all these players. I don't think he got down before yeah. that ball came out. No, there was all players underneath him. He didn't have nothing touched the ground. Play clock at one. Smith looks to his left. Rolls to his left. And then he throws away. So to the Pro Bowl, this is a 25-yard attempt from the left hash. It's now 17-0, San Francisco. Confidence, and they can become very efficient offensively. They'll, they're going to feel that no lead is insurmountable, even though, as you pointed out, Kenny, 10 points is the biggest one they've come back from this year. Robert Meacham takes it out to the 28-yard line for a gate of eight. They've just got to settle down and get some positive plays built up here. Yeah, they have no momentum whatsoever right now. Yeah, I thought, I thought uh, San Francisco was crazy when they deferred to the second half and put the ball in Breeze's hands, but obviously it's worked for him so far. Second down and two off the fake to Chris Ivory. Breeze with time. Checks it down to the fullback. Ned Collins. And Collins picks up the Saints first down, a gate of eight. Now I can never sell it. <laughs> Only one flag so far today. Another Saints first down in 49ers territory as Breeze hits Marcus Colston, who takes it down to the San Francisco 44, 20 yard pass play. And over 600 yards in each of their last two games. From the 44, a pump fake. Breeze moves to his left, throws. And the catch is made by Sproles. But he was ruled down as Dante Whitner. Down but fumbled. Oh, down but fumbled. Dante Whitner's ruled down, not Darren Sproles. So the Saints turn it over for a fourth time today. Dante Whitner has started off with just a monster game today. He's Lost down. The ball. The ruling on the field that the ball was stripped. And since he was touching the opponent, he's down by contact. First and ten. Down Fag is out. Looks like his knee was down, Darrell. I think they're going to go and turn this. Little, little tip. After reviewing the play, with clear possession, the receiver's knee was down at the 39 and a half yard line. Therefore, it'll be second down at the 39 and a half yard line. Please reset the game clock to 12:27. New Orleans is not charged with the team timeout. And where they got to be? They're gone. Second down and six. Breeze a pump fake throws, and Marcus Colston picks up a Saints first down. Gain of 11 to the 27-yard line. First and 10 from the 28-yard line. Off the fake. Breeze moving to his right. Can't find it one downfield. And he will take it out of bounds at the 23. 
as Breeze gains five for Francisco is very opportunistic with those turnovers. Breeze on second and five, and the catch is made for a first down by Jimmy Graham, gain of seven. Second down and eight. Scrolls went out to the right. Breeze on second down to the end zone for Jimmy Graham for a Saints touchdown. So Jimmy Graham, 11 touchdowns during the regular season, reached the end zone of the wild card game against Detroit. Does it again here today. Opportunities for possessions. 49ers start from their own 20. As Smith looks to set up the screen and Gore is tripped up and loses a yard. Good recognition by Jolon Dunbar to get up there and disrupt that screen. Smith on third down and 11. 49ers must get to the 30. Here's Gore. And he's down at the 28-yard line. Scott Shanley made the tackle along with Malcolm Jenkins. So here, still no report on Pierre Thomas, who was injured earlier. Penalty markers prior to the snap. Offside, defense, number 94. Five-yard penalty, first down. This is the best starting field position today for the Saints. Play action as Breeze throws, and the catch is made in 49ers territory by Marcus Colston for a gain of 13, his fourth reception today. Throws in the backfield from the 49-yard line. Off the play fake. Breeze back pedals. Under pressure, he spins away. And then he throws it out of bounds. Breeze on third down and seven. Another Saints first down. That's Adrian Arrington in his second season out of Michigan. Only two receptions during the regular season. A gain of 14. Something you don't want to do. Time for him to look downfield to find a receiver. From the 32 on first down. Breeze to the outside. And the catch is made by Devery Henderson, wrapped up by Carlos Rogers. Saints must get to the 22 for a first down as Breeze fires downfield. And Marcus Colston makes a spectacular catch for a Saints touchdown. Here's one of those examples. Chris Culver is in pretty good position. He's only got one step on him. Look at the location by the throw by Drew Brees. Could it have been any better, Darrell? Oh, my Lord. Look at this ball. The perfect spot. Colston gets both feet in. They rule it a touchdown, so they're going to pull to within three. And here I'm watching Darren Sproles out here. Look at him to the right. He's right here. I'm thinking you're just going to check it down to him and let him have the opportunity to catch and run with it. Not this offense. We get one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. We are taking a shot, and the placement on the throw is just absolutely perfect. Look at that. One down, two down, break the pylon. You can't defend that throw right there. You really can't. I mean, he's a perfect position. Chris Culliver. You just got to keep your poise, Tony, because yep. you know they're going to make their plays. And, you know, if if you understand that, they've, they've done it to everybody this season. And just, you know, continue to go out there and keep playing your way. But, again, you know, you, you've mentioned the pressure of the defense of the Saints, what they want to do. I, you know, <laughs> I mean, look at the pressure that this offense places on you. You jump out to a 17-0 lead at home, divisional playoff round. You're taking the ball away. And you relax for a second, and you look up, and it's 17-14. So Drew Brees with two touchdown passes here in the second quarter. He's now thrown a touchdown pass in 49 consecutive games, regular season plus postseason, and that ties Johnny Unitas' all-time record. 49 consecutive games, including postseason, with a touchdown pass for Drew Brees. And you see him right there, you know, just his demeanor as a leader when things are not going your way early in the game. You know, he, he's never going to panic. He has the confidence in the guys around him, the relationship that he and Sean Payton have, and Pete Carmichael. Start from their own 20-yard line, a toss to Hunter, and Kendall Hunter takes it out across the 30-yard line for a 49ers first down. 
Four in the backfield, first and ten from the 31. Three receivers set, Crabtree in the slot. It's on handoff to Gore, and Frank Gore takes it out to the 40-yard line for a gain of nine. His high school and collegiate teammate, Jonathan Vilma, made the tackle. I think the run is going there because they do a lot of decoying. Smith on second down and one. It is Vernon Davis who scored the game's first touchdown. 49 is tight end, makes the catch at the Saints. 40, Davis able to gain 20 yards. Uh, Alex Smith showing that he's got great location with his, with his throws as well. Pretty good coverage by Roman Harper right there, but he drops it right down. Just a little wheel route on the outside. And keep in mind the shuffling on the 49ers offensive line with Jonathan Good with the center. Third down and 10. Niners must get to the 30 for a first down. Smith taken down back at midfield. Pressure that Tony's been talking about all day long. You know, in deep coverage, what he is and what he does best is play as a box safety with the blitzes off the edge. Does a nice job of delaying that blitz. Waits for the defensive lineman to clear those offensive linemen out, and then he goes. Possessions. Third down and eight. Breeze looking downfield. Now he fires for Devery Henderson, and it is picked off by Terrell Brown. The fourth Saints turnover. And Brown brings it all the way back to the New Orleans 44-yard line. I tell you what, Tony, these guys are not intimidated whatsoever by this offense. They are. See if Devery Henderson gets a hand on him while they're on the ground. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he touched like his he foot did. right there, yeah. And remember, we are under two minutes, Everywhere. so First and ten. everything is initiated from upstairs. We'll place the ball at the spot of the interception based on the down by contact. You heard, uh, you heard the call on the field that the ball will be placed at the spot of the interception. Being ruled down by contact right there. Smith on first down. The pass is caught by Vernon Davis with Roman Harper climbing up his back. It's a gain of seven. Uh, Alex Smith jumped and threw that ball. Had right in there to cover. That's something you don't want to do is have a turnover right here. Second down and three from the 37. Smith to the outside complete to Kyle Williams for a 49ers first down. Will Must get to the Saints, 47, and they do not. As Kyle Williams is tackled by Patrick Robinson, 49ers will punt it away. Never had possession, anyways. Second down and ten. The screen to Sproles, and it does not fool the Niners. Alden Smith in on the tackle, a loss of four. Saints must get to the 25 for a first down. Screen to Sproles. And Sproles is tackled by Patrick Willis at the 17-yard line. So the Niners will use their second timeout. And San Francisco will get the ball back. 24 seconds remaining. Smith on second and 10. Steps up. Crossing away from pressure. He lost the football. And it is recovered by the Saints. The first 49ers turnover today. It's a penalty. Four seconds remaining. Saints trailing by three. Breeze moves to his right. And then he throws it out of bounds and will keep on going to the Saints locker room. So the 49ers took a 17-0 lead, but the Saints come back with 14 points in the second quarter. Niners lead by three at the half. The Visa Halftime Report with Kurt and the guys coming up after these messages. Kyle Williams in motion as the 49ers start from their own 20-yard line. Alex Smith to the near side to Michael Crabtree. And Crabtree game seven before he's brought down by Tracy Porter. 
Second down and three with Isaac Sopoaga leading the way. Frank Gore gains two out to the 29-yard line. Defensive guys do not want to go and meet up in a hole. On a consistent pace. Here's Gore Deuce on third down and one. Picks up the 49ers first down out to the 33-yard line. Defensive line right now. You got five guys on that line. I guarantee more than that is coming. And here they come. And it's Malcolm Jenkins who wraps up Alex Smith. Forcing the 49ers to punt. They put five guys on the line of scrimmage. Loss of 13. Andy Lee punting from his own 11-yard line. What a kick. Forcing Sproles back to the 22. Penalty marker. Ball came free. There was a penalty flag. Looks like the 49ers have recovered. There's the first move. Gets off the body a little bit. Man, no one hit it. It just return. fell out. Illegal black in the back. Number 27 of the return team. The ruling on the field is also a fumble, which was recovered by the kicking team. That penalty for the illegal block in the back will be declined. First and 10. Smith on third down and seven. And that pass could not be handled by Michael Crabtree. They brought the pressure again on that one. One yard attempt from the right hash. Andy Lee places it down. David Akers, two for two. So the 49ers capitalize on the turnover. Now lead by six. Actually had to resaw it from 20 to 20 uh, in, in, all the way across the numbers. Breeze on first down, hitting Sproles out of the backfield for a gain of six. And he's tackled by Navarro Bowman. So How the, Drew Breeze went and found Sproles on that play is, is amazing. Not on the television, but from down here it was. On second and four off the fake toss to Sproles. Breeze finds Marcus Colston for a first down and more. Colston takes it all the way down to the 49ers. 43-yard line, 31 yards on the catch and run. Saints must get to the 33, and they will not as Justin Smith wraps up Breeze and takes him down. I mean, Justin Smith on the line of scrimmage. Put to the ground, yeah, it's not necessary. Again, did game three, now second and seven. The toss to Frank Gore. Back to the quarterback, Smith, who lost the football. And will stay down. That is for throwing at him. Second and ten. Breeze to the air once again. The catch is made for a first down. Taken out to the 34-yard line by Devery Henderson for a gain of 19. He's 26 of 49. This time the Saints keep it on the ground with Ivory. Remember, Pierre Thomas injured early. He will not return, and Ivory gains seven out to the 40. He's on second and three, complete for a first down to the tight end. Jimmy Graham in 49ers territory, 13-yard pass play. Breeze, quick release on third and ten, and the pass intended for Aaron to again. It is Rodgers on the coverage. Now it's the Saints offense back to work, trailing by six. Breeze with time. Now he throws complete to Sproles, and Darren Sproles picks up 12 yards on a Saints first down. Down the field. And ten times he has found Darren Sproles today. Ten receptions, 56 yards. Here's Ivory. Works his way across midfield into 49ers territory. To the side. Breeze a punt fake on second and five. Now he throws another first down. It's Debrie Henderson at the 39-yard line. A gain of seven as time winds down in this third quarter. Ken Stabler hit Dave Casper in overtime for the win. We start the fourth quarter. With the 49ers leading by six, Breeze complete to Marcus Colston. Stay in control. Never been any panic from the New Orleans Saints, even with all the turnovers they've had today. Second down and one. 
Ivory picks up a first down to the San Francisco 26. Second and 10. Ivory. Tackle back at the 29-yard line by Ahmad Brooks. Third down and 12. Saints must get to the 17 for a first down. As Breeze fires, looking for Colston, and at the flex off his hands. Reggie Smith on the coverage. First season, a 48-yard attempt from the right hash. Casey from 48. His kick is good. And the Saints fall to it in three here in San Francisco. From the 18-yard line, play action on first down. Justin Smith with pressure on Breeze. And Breeze able to throw it away. Find it, ran a little stuck. That's what, that's what they're using. Breeze on second and ten. Down he goes. Back at the nine-yard line, Ahmad Brooks with the sack. I tell you, this is impressive. This San Francisco D-line. At their own 36-yard line. Ten and a half remaining, fourth quarter. Three-point San Francisco lead. Inside handoff on first down to Frank Gore. And Gore breaks free. He's inside the 30, and Tracy Porter finally brings him down. The 22-yard line as Gore picks up 42 yards. Into this front, you pull your party around. Look at the small seam that he hits. Malcolm Jenkins has an opportunity to make a play for about a seven-yard game, misses the tackle, and Frank Gore is sprinting. Third down and six. And the pass is knocked down, and then Gore... Takes it to the 19-yard line. And nobody could find the ball. Yeah. Alex Smith was looking. Everybody was looking. Here's David Akers. Two for two today. A 37-yard attempt from the right hand. Lee places it down. Akers with his left foot. It's now three for three. So midway through this fourth quarter, 49ers back up by six. This afternoon of seeing that formation and jumping plays. It's his eighth reception. He's over 100 yards for the day. First and 10 from the 46 yard line. Empty backfield once again for New Orleans. Pass is caught at midfield by Robert Meacham. We're gain of four. Something he doesn't like. We're going to change it like he's doing right now. But that ball is coming out. Breeze on second and six, and the catch is made by Scholes. Goldson wrestles him out of bounds. Gain of five, and that is Scholes 12. Play clock at two, second and ten from the 44. Scholes makes the catch. First down and more. Inside the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Darren Scholes. 44 yards. And coverage coming from the deep safety spot. Up, oh, he's at the end of the shallow one. He's not there in time. One missed tackle, and he's into the end zone. Jimmy Graham also does a great job downfield of making the block. Jimmy Graham downfield. He knows he's not getting the ball. He sees the completion. Turn, head on a swivel. Look at his block right there. Boom. That right there is a cake. Opens up. That's on Terrell Brown. And Sproles just has a clear path to the end zone. 
for Darren Sproles, his 13th reception today, and that ties an NFL postseason record. Kellen Winslow, Thurman Thomas, Shannon Sharp, and Chad Morton are joined by Darren Sproles, 13 receptions in one postseason game. Peaking at the right time. 49ers with 4.02 remaining. They trail by a point. Alex Smith to Kendall Hunter on first down. And Hunter takes it out to the 32 yard line for a gain of 12. Smith on second and 10. And the catch is made. What a catch by Vernon Davis. At the Saints 30 yard line, a 37 yard completion. What a throw from Jenkins. It's just a straight go route. Look at the location of this throw. Fantastic. Scoring play is yep. reviewed. Hand off to Gore. And he is stopped on the two-point conversion attempt. Down by five. Start from their own 12-yard line. Greens with a quick release. Hits Sproles. And Sproles takes it out to the 22. Goldson on the tackle. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. And pressure. What an unbelievable game he's had. Breeze on second and ten, his 61st pass attempt. That's a new club record in the postseason. And the catch is made by Marcus Colston. Gain of 12 and a Saints first down. A minute 48 remaining. Saints need a touchdown. From their own 34-yard line, empty backfield. Breeze throws. Jimmy Graham makes the catch inside the 30. Graham is inside the 10, and he takes it all the way for a Saints go-ahead touchdown. 66 yards from Breeze to Graham. Another one right here. I mean, you got Patrick Willis tight underneath. He got safety help with Dante Whitner behind him, and he still throws it to Jimmy Graham, who makes a heck of a catch. Dante Whitner had an opportunity to make the tackle and, and give his defense another chance, but now the Saints will go for two. Try and take a three-point lead, and they do as Breeze hits Darren Sproles for the two-point conversion. It is now 32-29 New Orleans. Hey, hey, hey. 32-29 New Orleans. As Smith throws, complete to Gore. And Gore takes it out to the 22-yard line. That's a lot of time at the line of scrimmage. Smith over the middle to Gore on second and three. And Gore takes it out to the 33-yard line for a Niners first down. Down to 40 seconds remaining. Smith on second down. He throws and it's caught by Vernon Davis. Davis is inside the 30 and finally wrestled out of bounds. The 49ers are in field goal range with 31 seconds remaining. 47 yards from Smith to Davis. Each today, one-on-one -on -one with Malcolm Jenkins. Look at the throw by Alex Smith. That's also tight coverage. Fits that one into a small area. Seconds on the clock. San Francisco with one timeout. They trail by three. Smith backpedaling. He throws. It's caught by Gore. And Gore gains seven 
down to the 13-yard line. And now the Niners will hurry to the line from the 14. Smith on third and three. He throws to the end zone, and the catch is made by Vernon Davis for a Niners touchdown! What an unbelievable game by Vernon Davis. And what a great catch, because Roman Harper hits him as soon as the ball gets there. This is so good at the point of the catch for him to be able to hold on to that ball. Roman Harper times it perfectly. He goes all the way through with the process of the catch. For Vernon Davis, Alex Smith, Frank Gore, a lot of these guys that have been here for a long time, Fought through some very difficult years with the 49ers. And what a great day this is for them right now. From the 14-yard line. Breeze throws underneath. That will do it. But now, looks like they might put some time back on the clock. One more time from the 14-yard line. Breeze checks it down. Scrolls back to Breeze. Robert Meacham is tackled. It's a madhouse here. Candlestick. The 49ers advance to the NFC Championship game.